Muhammad fouls LeBron James, and then a technical foul on James, and Muhammad, for some reason, shoves James, and we're having it again. Players losing their cool and their poise here over what seems to be normal NBA fouls. James shoved Muhammad. That's why the technical foul was called, and then Muhammad shoved James down. It'll be interesting to see if they throw Muhammad out because James fell down. That's just a foul. So James throwing him down, and then Muhammad responding to it. You know, when I look then at that Then you Gibson again, and Anderson going. I I'm not sure James necessarily pushed Muhammad down. He got wrapped up. Well, yeah, he did. But he's just trying to discard a guy who's wrapping him up. But with what's gone on so far in the series, the officials are going to be quick to call technical fouls on any after the whistle play. See, I'm just saying, like, on that, I get it why he called the T. This one's obvious. Now, does that shove because he fell get ejection? No, I think they're the same. But so they probably I, both will get. Technical I'm going to say Muhammad will be ejected because James fell. Well, it was certainly a harder shove, but I don't think so. Miles Muhammad, who's played limited minutes but has played well when he's had the chance. Again, it's top Thibodeau's had to go down his bench and play guys more minutes than they ever expected. You can't do it. That's the bottom line. You can't do it. You got. You just had a technical foul call on LeBron James. You're going to get an extra point. You're too valuable. Their depth is totally limited. So Muhammad going to to stop the fast break and commits the hard foul. James doesn't like it, so discards him. And then Muhammad with the hard shove. David Guthrie, the official, did a good job getting Gibson away from Anderson. Again, the way the series has gone, and the officials, they look at all the tapes from the previous game. They do a scout on report like the coaches do, and they're going to call that after what happened in game two. This is absolutely going to be called a technical by the way the series has gone. But I was very interested to hear what Steve Jaffe, who works for us at ESPN, said after game two. He says they call the games not just for that game, but the ga for the games that come next. And that's very interesting to me. I would think you would just call it for whatever you see in that particular game. Well, with the history in a series, and sometimes history between two players. Now, Muhammad has been called. So James gets the technical. And Muhammad has been ejected. You're absolutely right, Jim. And if LeBron James does not fall on that, Nazi Muhammad is not ejected. That's my problem with how the officials are instructed to do it. Now, Muhammad's getting a standing ovation from the Bulls fans, and you, you like sticking up for your team, but that's a bad decision on Nazi Muhammad's part. Yeah, I've never understood that, why getting thrown out brings a resound, and hurting your team gets a resounding standing ovation. So instead of the Bulls getting one technical free throw attempt, no free throws because it's a dead